idea always was to offer something different to what we currently have in the West End. Not necessarily better, but different. And I love um, all my proscenium March houses and, uh, you know, all we have beautiful theatres in London, really beautiful and much loved. But if you're building one in the 21st century, it should echo what the 21st century is. We're going to walk through the stage door. And it's not quite finished yet, you can words to go up, but here it is, a brand new stage door. We had to have the theatre on the first floor, that short auditorium, uh, because we were on a very difficult site. It was very difficult because we are actually above not one, not two, but three tube lines. And if you stand centre stage and you actually could go in a straight line below it, which before the building was built, I was able to do because I was actually able to go down into the Elizabeth Lion Crossrail um, uh, before it was well before it was it was finished, um, so that we you know, we understood what we were on top of, and it's a city down there. If you're coming to the theatre and you see part of our lovely artwork here, uh, which are the star, the constellations of the zodiac, so. You can find your sign and actually realise what it looks like. Not everyone knows what their zodiac constellation looks like. We had our substage on the ground floors as all the set comes up through the, through the, through the substage. Uh, and I had this beautiful ground floor and I wanted it to be somewhere that people could use outside of showtime. So if you are coming to the show and wish to, you can step into our really beautiful stars bar and restaurant and have a quick pre-theatre meal. Three courses for £25, which I think, hope you think is good value, but also the food's excellent. And then you just walk upstairs to the theatre and you come back down afterwards and have you know, a light course and a cocktail before you go home. But the building is very theatrical. Uh, so you can enjoy a little bit of theatre magic even if you're not going to see the show. And I think that's a good thing where we get the public just to love the, the building which is a theatre with some space for them during the day. So you're an actor just starting to work in production here and right on site you have a... Ta-da! A rehearsal room on site. So you've got lots of natural light, you've got a spiny dance floor, you've got a mirror which you can also close up. Uh, so when you're actually not doing your ballet exercises, you know, you, you, you do your performance. There's a mezzanine where all the creative, all the design, sound design and light design can sit on their computers. And we haven't got many theatres that can offer something different. Obviously we have wonderful places like um, the Young Vic which are, and Don Mar and the Maida and the Dorfman. They're all bad, fantastic theatres. Um, but there aren't very many of them and none of them were purpose-built from scratch to be in the round first. And actually building in the round is a very different thing. And that was, thinking was to make that our prime and prime home-based configuration. It gives you a kind of a hug, which is really nice to play in. Um, and then we can change it by taking walls off uh, and it still works. And if you go three-sided, like the Don Master configuration, a bit larger, or long with like more like a catwalk and a T-shaped stage, and like, for example, the Swan, but very different. But it helps people understand when they go to the theatre what, what I'm relating to. Um, but to the in the round is uh, is very beautiful, and it works really well.